So I recently went golf ball hunting with my son and we found loads and loads of great golf balls. This was one that we found, which was my absolute favorite. And we cut it open in a previous video, which I'll link here if you wanna watch that. But what we also found was um, some really quite dodgy golf balls. And my son was really excited that he found this one. It was a Titleist, yes, a little bit battered. And he said to me, look, it's a Pro V1. And I said, I'm not sure that that's a Pro V1. So in this video, we're gonna uncover whether this is in fact a fake Pro V1. We're gonna compare it to a brand new Pro V1. We're gonna look and study it, we're gonna weigh it. And we're also gonna cut it open to see what's inside. And maybe it could serve as a bit of a warning. If you're thinking of buying a knockoff or a refurbished golf ball that you think might be a Pro V1. Alternatively, I could be absolutely wrong and this could be a genuine Pro V1 which has just been through the wars. So let's get started. And I think first of all, if we take a close up look at what's happened to this golf ball. So my first suspicions were raised when you can see that the logo has started to wear off. And now I'm not sure I've seen any golf balls, no matter how battered they've been. And I've cut open some really bad lake balls. The other thing was, I'm not familiar with that type of branding on the side of a Pro V1. And also that's, that's uh, worn off as well. And then the other thing is, the dimples just don't look quite right. And let's start comparing this now to a Pro V1. So you can see here, the dimples are really sharp. And on the potentially fake Pro V1, they almost look like they're flat around the edges and they don't quite join up perfectly. Um, so I'm not quite sure. So let's have a look side by side. Yeah, one's pristine and brand new. But look, they just look a little bit different. Does that Tyler's logo even look slightly bigger on this one here or maybe it's my eyes playing tricks on me and obviously there are different uh, different types but this one here is a 2021 pro v1 but it just doesn't look quite right something is wrong so what i usually do in these tests is i, I usually um, weigh the golf ball just to see um what it comes out so i've got my scales here so let's get this started and we'll see if there's any um, obvious weight difference between the two golf balls. Okay, so if you can see that, that actually says 45. Let's help you out there, 45 grams. Right, let's get the, the brand new Titleist Pro V1. Let's see what that comes out at. Right, that's interesting, that's a start then. So that says 46 grams. So again, more suspicions are being raised. So look, there's only one thing for it. I think we need to get hold of Jeff and we need to cut this open and see what's inside this golf ball and uh, what it's actually telling us. Will it explode? It feels okay. Yeah, that is, that's not a Pro V1. I mean, that that's a two piece golf ball, but geez, look. The, the, the outer of the golf ball isn't even consistent around the outside. Look, it's much thicker around this side than it is compared to that side. And I have no idea. That's one of the hardest cores I've ever felt. But look, does this side look any better? No, it definitely doesn't. Yeah, I'm going to lean over here because what I've got is uh, one I prepared earlier. This is what the inside of a Pro V1 should look like. And the, uh, the one here is very, very different. It's definitely, uh, as you would say, moody as hell. There we go. So what do you think? Would you be tempted to buy a refurbished or potentially fake Pro V1? My advice would be you'll end up getting something like this and I would avoid it. But let me know in the comments below. Have you ever been caught out by buying dodgy golf balls? And I'll catch you in the next one.